Welcome to the video today to show you how to fit the body coloured wheel arches. Now you may be fitting body coloured wheel arches, you may just want to take off your wheel arches and change them, in which case you can uh, watch the first half of the video. So we've laid out the bits we're going to fit on the floor here. We've got a nice sunny day today. You can see we've got a Stornoway grey uh, wheel arch kit to go on our Stornoway grey car. So normally on the Discovery 3 they're this sort of textured plastic finish. Okay, and we're going to upgrade them to these body colour ones. Now you can take your original ones off, rub them down, primer them and paint them. That's certainly an option. Now what you'll notice here is on this this bit that goes on the rear door, okay, you'll notice that on the bits you get the curved section is painted but then when it goes along the bottom of the sill it is the textured plastic finish. So there's nothing to change on the bottom of the front door. So the, the parts are just the arch there for the, the front wing, nothing on the front door. You change that whole section there on the rear door but the bottom part of it is not painted, the curved part is and then you change that rear section. Right, okay, let me pass the camera over to Tom. And, right, Tom's gonna have to help me because he's done this. I didn't do this. Um, right, first thing you need to do is, believe it or not, open your bonnet. So let's just flip the bonnet cable. Okay, because you'll see later there's a really naughty little screw hiding down in here somewhere. So um, don't be put off by this. It's, it's only a, a couple of minutes. Um, but basically you pop these little things on the top there's a little thing you pop under here you push that up okay we've done a video of how to remove the grill before there's one on this side okay pop that out so yeah you just show them there Tom those little springy bits there okay put that to one side okay then we've got to pull the headlights out so you've got these little half moon shapes here these pull up okay and what they do is, you'll see they've got like a keyhole section here, and you just line that up with there. Okay, and then, now I've had these, Tom's loosened these already, so we'll pull that one up. Okay, so they might be a bit stiffer on your car. So, um, yeah, if you look in here, Tom will just show them that you see as that lines up, it locks those in. And right, then we'll just push down on the top connector there pull the light away okay so that's your headlight out and your grill out now I know this is looking a bit scary now but it's not too bad right and then the screw that we need to get to to do all of that is that little crosshead screw in there okay oh there's crosshead 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 right so we've got a little screwdriver because we haven't got as much room as we might like in there but it's only going into the plastic so the screw shouldn't be too tight. Let me just see if I can wind that last bit out by hand. Okay. Okay. Now this is when we've done this. This is the hardest bit of the operation done. The rest is downhill from here. So we'll do this first. Okay. So that's the screw that you're taking out of there. Okay. We'll leave that there. Okay. So next we've got a. Right. We've got this. Um. We call it our snake's tongue tool here, and this is removing these popper clips. So right along the inside of the wheel arch, there's a series of these popper clips. So if we get that in behind there, get it in behind the head. Whoa, okay. All right, you can do that, and then pull out the the main bit of the clip. So it's these little pop rivet things that. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. That's those. So we've got a series of these. So there's one. Go. Let's get on him. There we go. Once you're out, you should be able to get it under the back. That's it. Okay, no need to pull the middle all the way out. Right then. So if you feel up, there's a couple right up under here. This might not be great video viewing. Sorry about that. We got a nice sunny day, but it might be a little bit difficult to see if we get the sun in the wrong, the wrong angle on the camera. There we go. Okay. That's that Up one. here, Tom's just pointing out to me there's two right next to each other. The front, the foremost one, the one there is the front of the car, you can leave. It's only the rear one you need to take out there. So you can leave that other one. So no need to fight with that. And then you come round 
Is it only the one we leave out, Tom? Yeah, all the rest you take out. As Tom pointed out to me off camera, you could take them all out. It's just saving you a bit of time if you don't need to. Why bother? Okay, so that's... Again, so these are all the same. Okay, so we're getting a little collection of them now. So here we go. One, two, three, four. And now we're on that screw at the front, are we, Tom? Yep. So there's four, just four of those. And then right at the front edge here, we've got another crosshead self-tapper. Okay, wind that out. There you go, we've got the self-tapper out. Right, are we ready to pull it off now, Tom? Yep. Which side should we start from? The rear. The rear. Right. Okay, so grab underneath here and work it round. We'll show you the clips afterwards. If you just work it one popper at a time. Okay, and then down to the to the front. There's a little section there so there's like a little bit that docks in there at the bottom corner uh, docks in into this slot here okay so just careful when you're pulling that last bit out but what you'll see is these are two part popper clips okay so most of the time you'll leave the yellow part on here and then on the molding you'll have the white part sometimes we haven't got any on here but sometimes you'll pull the whole clip out but that's okay just just push them back in and they'll be fine. Okay, and then we'll get on and now do the rear. Uh, take this rear section off next. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, we've got a little self-tapper in. Oh, there he goes, in there. Okay, so again, we're just gonna use our little crosshead driver on the, uh, on the ratchet. Wind that out. I should be able to get it by hand from there. So that's again they're the same as the ones at the at the front and then we've got three popper clips again so it's the similar format to the front that we just did so I'll pop out the middle of these little popper clips if we can find out where to get on them there he goes get him under there okay get the middle out and then pull the rest of him out so again, it's the same, exactly the same deal as we did on the front a minute ago. exciting video in the world for you if you're watching this on YouTube but there we go we'll show you warts and all right so that's the three of those out which side should we pull from first time you reckon on this one it doesn't matter much it doesn't matter but again if you pull from one end and then just pop each popper in turn okay okay right so there again you can see the popper now this is one where it's pulled out so there's actually a two-part clip here, but you can see it's pulled out. But to be honest, you can just put that back in there 
and that'll just when you put it back in it'll line up and pop in there so I just leave them like that now one thing to note is when you take this off you'll get a, a real dose of mud probably come out we've cleaned these before we've done a, a trial run so get ready for a load of mud to come down when you do that so that's that then the last bit we've got to do is on the door so we'll do that okay the last bit we're going to do now is taking this bit off the door so it's best to open the door up fully we're going to start at this end okay now the hidden fasteners are under this little rubber trim along here there are Torx T20 get that there okay and what what this does is it sandwiches between the rubber and the plastic so it sandwiches this fitting on okay so that's the fitting there can you see that Tom sorry it's a bit bright out here today okay, so we should have four of these one two Not all the same three okay and this one down here these wheel, these these wheel arches often get scuffed. So, actually, going to the colour coded ones is often you can not only upgrade, get a better looking car, but also replace a damaged or worn part. So that's all the fixings we've got to do on that one. Now it's best to start. Well, let me spin around here. It's best to start at this end. Thank you, Tom. So, okay. So if we start at this end. And give this a little pull again you can start to feel those clips coming off okay work that round round now when you get to the end you get that last clip off okay in there it that last clip will come off or you can slide it that way a bit um, so if that last clip just slide it there because you can see it's in a groove there okay so that's the last piece off so now we'll do the refitting which will hopefully be mainly popping on and then we'll show you the finished job